Well, state troopers say this 10 car pileup caused a big mess on the roads in Hartford County this afternoon. The crash involving a car carrier on northbound I 95 forced lane closures and caused huge backups. Dennis Valera joins us live at 11. And Dennis, what are you hearing from drivers stuck in that mess on the interstate? Hey, Nikki. Yeah, I mean, the pictures and video, it speaks for themselves. Just the backup caused by that big accident. I talked to some drivers who saw the backup, but fortunately were not caught up in it. Now, everyone I met telling me they had some pretty smooth days overall on the road and grateful that there were no traffic headaches part of their Thanksgiving holiday. MDOT's traffic cams caught the backup when it happened. Close to 2 p.m., four lanes closed in I-95 North around exit 74 in Hartford County. Pictures from Hartford County Volunteer Fire and EMS showing the traffic and damage up close. Sharon Walker was on her way to Baltimore from Newcastle, Delaware. Yeah. It was parking lot. It looked like the traffic started backing up right really after the bridge. It seemed like it backed up from there all the way to Baltimore. While she dodged it going south, on her way back to Delaware, she hit a bit of a slowdown. There was an accident, and there was three cars, but we, once we got around that accident, it was fine. Walker was among the many drivers who took a break at the Maryland House Travel Plaza. We caught Margie Feather and Bruce Cronauer heading to Baltimore from Manalapan Township, New Jersey. Because we were leaving so late, we knew it was going to be a little uh, less traffic. Yeah. A little less traffic. They've got the timing down, having driven the route many times, but sometimes life throws a wrench. A couple of years ago, maybe five or six years ago, we we're coming down and we saw some poor guy hit a deer that was crossing 95, mm. and his car just basically, the, the front end got exploded and traffic came to a stop there real quick. This year, it looks like they're in the clear, grateful to miss any big backups, but they're ready to adjust if they run into one. You yeah. just never know. We've hit a couple, and thankfully, we have Waze or Google Maps, and it can help us divert that. Those are much better than the old days. Yeah. For anyone planning to hit the road on Friday tomorrow, AAA is advising you to do it before 11 a.m. or after 7 p.m. Anyone waiting to drive until the weekend, AAA says to do it before noon. Reporting live, I'm Dennis Valera for WJZ.